Let's play a little Would You Rather. Would you rather be chased by a bear and survive or be bitten by an infected mosquito? In both interactions, there is potential for a win-lose outcome. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the difference between predation and parasitism. In both interactions, one individual benefits while the other does not. Predators and parasites are both heterotrophs, which means they receive energy from another organism. However, how they receive this energy is very different. Let's look at five differences. Up first, in a predator-prey interaction, the predator receives energy from the prey by hunting and consuming the prey, like this amoeba consuming the paramecium. It's a relative straightforward relationship. In the next example, the shark is the predator and the seal is the prey. With parasitism, the parasite uses the host for a variety of reasons. The host is the organism that harbors another organism in or near their body. For example, a tick will hitch a ride on its host in order to drink their blood. Some wasps lay their eggs on the back of a caterpillar so that the larvae will have food to eat and a place to live. Some parasitic plants, like the Rafflesi, the world's largest individual flower, gets its nutrition from nutrients it steals from the roots of neighboring vines. Number two, the predator has a single goal, consume the prey. For many parasites, it is advantageous for the host to stay alive. As long as the host stays alive, the parasite benefits. If the host dies, the parasite either has to relocate or may longer exist. Mistletoe is a parasitic plant that feeds off the host plant by extracting nutrients and water from the host. Rarely is it an advantage for the prey to stay alive for the predator. Number three, sometimes the parasite will live their entire life inside the host. Endoparasites live inside the host. Examples include heartworms, tapeworms, and flatworms. This does not happen in a predator-prey interaction. Number four, parasites may spread many diseases. Mosquitoes spread many diseases including malaria, West Nile virus, and yellow fever. This rarely happens in the predator-prey relationship. And number five, in many examples, the parasite will be much smaller than the host. Just think of the flea and the host, the dog. Because the predator must consume their prey, they will often be stronger, faster, and a little bit larger. If you'd like to know more about parasites, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.